Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger Militia, and in this video, I'm going to show you my favorite builds to help you level up and earn ultimate parts as fast as you can. Let's go! First of all, thank you so much for clicking on my video. It really means the world to me. There's lots of other stuff to watch on YouTube, so I'm glad you're here with me. And you know we have to raise a barks to all the subs who are back for more. Thank you guys so much for coming back. And as always, don't be afraid to hit me up on Instagram. I read every message. So if you just want to talk gaming or you have a question, send me a DM. Now this video was actually a suggestion from one of the comments. I really appreciate you guys giving me the feedback. You definitely help shape my content, so keep the suggestions coming. I'll say this now so we don't waste anyone's time. This video is intended for people who do not have all of the ultimate and ultimate plus parts yet. If you have all of the ultimate parts already, this video really isn't going to help you much. So the idea for this video is to break it down into two stages of the game. So I'll make a recommendation for rep levels 1 through 16, and then I'll give you my top three cars for 16 through 50. Now I know 16 seems like a weird place to draw the line, but you'll see why here in a moment. Also, I'll try to give you a couple of alternatives that I know will work well in case you don't like either of the two recommendations I make. So for stage one, the first thing you do at the beginning of the game is progress through a few story missions to familiarize yourself with the game and unlock the dealership. I think by the time you hit rep level two, the dealership is available, but it's been so long that I really can't remember. Anyways, the first car I recommend buying and starting to upgrade at the beginning of the game is none of them all of the cars at the beginning of the game are so slow. Instead, as soon as you can free roam, your goal is actually to find night races that are around your car's level and race them over and over again for rep. The first goal you need to do is try to hit rep level 11 as fast as you can. At rep level 11, there are a bunch of parts that unlock that will make your starter car fast enough to escape heat two and sometimes heat three cops. This will instantly double your rep gains each night you go out with less headache. Just as an example, I'm using the 180SX. The car starts out at a 125 rating with almost all stock parts. 1.0 on power, 1.7 on high speed, 1.5 acceleration, and 2.0 on nitrous. But at level 11, you can equip the following. The Pro Plus crankshaft, ECU, intercooler, and exhaust. The Sport Dual Turbo, Pro 2x3 pound NOS, Pro Track Suspension, Pro Brakes, Pro Track Tires, Pro Plus Clutch, Elite Gearbox, and Pro Track Differential, and Radar Disruptor for your second auxiliary slot. This build puts the car at 226 instantly with 1.3 for power, 3.3 for high speed, 3.5 for acceleration, and 4.0 for nitrous. The total cost of the build is 141,000, which if you followed my plan, you won't have in your bank because you've been grinding night races, and that only gives you rep. Your next goal is to grind the day races to complete this build. While doing this, your rep will not be going up at all because you'll just simply be earning money. Do not continue night races until you finish this build. Once you have this build complete, you will wanna go back out at night and level up to rep level 16. At 16, you unlock the 1973 Porsche 911 Carrera RSR, and thus begins stage two of my process. The RSR is considered by almost everyone in the Need for Speed Heat community to be the fastest car in the game, and you unlock it at such a low level, I really can't help but talk about it. As much as I want to recommend another car, there really is no better car to help you achieve level 50 and earn ultimate parts as fast as this RSR will. So with that in mind, at level 16, you should buy the 911 RSR and swap all the parts that you have on the first build that I just mentioned onto the RSR with the exception of a couple of items that you will need to buy from the parts store. If you don't know how to do this, start by removing all of the parts from your starter car, then swap cars to the RSR you just bought, and then after clicking on the crankshaft, for example, tab to the right over to inventory and you should see your Pro Plus crankshaft from the other car. Do this with all of the parts except the turbo and the clutch. So here's what your RSR build should look like after you've bought it and put all of your parts on it. Pro Plus crankshaft, ECU, intercooler, and exhaust. Pro dual turbo. Pro 2x3 pound NOS. Pro track suspension. Pro brakes. Pro track tires. Super clutch. Elite gearbox. Pro track differential. And the kill switch jammer and radar disruptor for your auxiliary slots. 
This level 16 build puts the RSR at 272 rating and sets you up for the remainder of the game. This build will cost you an additional $86,000 for the car and $49,500 for the parts, and it will take you all the way up to level 23. At level 23, the fastest engine swap for the RSR becomes available to you along with a host of other parts. So when you get to 23, the new build should look like this. You swap engines to the 440 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 engine and equip these parts. Super Plus, Crankshaft, ECU, Intercooler, and Exhaust. Pro Dual Turbo, Super 3x3 pound NOS, Super Track Suspension, Super Brakes, Super Track Tires, Super Plus Clutch, Elite Gearbox, and Super Track Differential. And again, I would run Kill Switch Jammer and Radar Disruptor in your auxiliary slots. This build will take you all the way up to 359, and at that point, running from the cops with heat level 3 becomes fairly simple because the car can do over 200 miles an hour no problem, and the cops don't drive that fast in this game. So running from them on highways becomes the go-to move because you can keep that type of speed without having to turn much. As you progress your rep level from there, you will unlock better clutches, better tires, better brakes, and better engine parts. Every time you unlock something new, go back to the day races and grind the money to equip it before going back to the night races. This strategy is by far the fastest way to get to rep level 50 so you can start unlocking ultimate and ultimate plus parts. Those are not available until after rep 50. Again, the RSR is by far the fastest car to do this with, but if you don't like driving it or you prefer something else, I would suggest the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9. It's 72,500 at the dealership and can be upgraded in similar ways to the RSR. It is also unlocked at rep level 16 and has the same parts available for it at level 23, including the motor swap. The engine you want to swap to at rep level 23 is the 562 horsepower 3.8 liter V8. Then just build it like we built the RSR earlier. Although it's slower than the RSR, it's still very capable and will help you run from the police just as well. Now for the viewers who are level 36 or above, the 4 GT is an absolute monster. It's one of the fastest cars in the game and you unlock it at 36. If you want to drive something a little more flashy, use the 4 GT. Build it up with the 460 horsepower 6.2 liter V8. That's the fastest motor it has. If you're at level 50, congratulations, you made it. Now all you have to do is race some of the high heat races to unlock all of the ultimate and ultimate plus parts. You can do this with any of the three builds I mentioned. From my experience, the double repair kits and damage reduction auxiliaries are the best for running high heat races and nighttime chaos in general. I know I've just thrown a ton of information out there and there are all different levels of racers watching this video, so I want to sum it up for people in three different camps. So camp number one, you've just started the game and you're very low level and you want a path forward. You need to play with a starter car, racing it at night exclusively until rep 11. Then grind money and upgrade every part possible on your car. Play at night again until level 16 where you can buy either the RSR or the EVO 9. Grind money again and upgrade that car immediately. At that point, you're going to be in camp number two. Camp number two, you've played for some hours and you want to know which car is going to take you into the later stages of the game for the least amount of time and money. And that car is either the RSR or the EVO 9. And you should swap the motor at level 23 and fully upgrade it before continuing night races. Every part you unlock should go on the car ASAP all the way through level 50. The reason you want to do this is because it makes it easier to run from the cops at night. And if it's easier to run from the cops at night, then it's easier to have bigger rep gains every single night with higher multipliers. If you can run from heat 5 cops no problem with your car, you're going to bring in a ton more rep and thus speeding up the process of leveling up. And that brings me to camp number 3. You guys are at level 50, you want to earn those ultimate parts ASAP. Well, it's not easy, but specking your car to take the least amount of damage is going to help you more than you think. At this point, you have to have a rocket ship of a car. Something in the 370 to 380 range would be the best, and honestly, the RSR is the best car to do it with. I know to some of you that have been paying attention to the Need for Speed community, that sounds a little bit cliche, but it's the truth. That car is wildly overpowered in this game, but if you don't want to drive it, try the EVO 9 or the 4 GT. And that's it, guys. Those are my three cars and builds. 
Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out in some way as that's always my goal. I'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out. <laughs>